When I think of revolutionary mothers, I think of Sister Elaine Brown, former chairperson of the Black Panther Party. I think of Reverend Liz Theo Harris, chairperson of the Poor People's Campaign. I think of Reverend Claudia de la Cruz, the co-executive director of the People's Forum. I think of my mother, Lucy Montez. I think of Mary giving birth to a Palestinian Jew named Jesus. I think about all of these women and children being born in a difficult world, but these mothers sharing themselves to birth a new world. Birthing a new world because the world where these children and mothers were born into were unjust and full of unjust policies. And when I think of birthing my daughter, this little one here, <laughs> when I think of birthing my daughter in a world, in a year where my government, my tax dollars, makes it okay to fund genocide and kill innocent men, women, and children. I think of the mothers who came before me knowing they were planting seeds that will help bloom a new world, a world who will welcome refugees in their home, a world who will put people over profit and care for the planets, a world who will one day end militarism and the war machine. My daughter will always remember the children in the rubble. I remember when I was preparing my body and life for motherhood, these amazing, amazing women, Reverend Lizzie O'Harris, Shali Gupta, Claudia de la Cruz, my mother and many others, would speak life to me in my womb. I felt so scared. What world am I bringing my daughter into? And they said, the world you want to create, the world where you want these values planted and you want to see them continually grow. You are giving birth to another revolutionary. This is our spirit. We are all hand in hand creating the world we want to be in. And I just want to tell anyone, if you need to slow down and just be in the moment, practice being in the moment. That's something Sister Elaine Brown told me. This work is long. We have a long journey ahead of us. As I am a new mom, I am so grateful that people like Dr. Adam Barnes are allowing me to slow down and still play my part in the movement where I can. As Sister Sierra Taylor helps me, you know, join where I can and speak to who we can, we motivate each other. So I just want to say thank you for allowing me to be on this call, for bringing my little one on this call. Thank you for inspiring me. And I hope regardless of how you're feeling today, know that we are all with you and we are practicing and giving birth to the values we want to see. Thank you.